welcome back to the crafty nook today i have a haul from hobby lobby gonna be real honest i don't make it to hobby lobby as often just because sometimes their stuff is a little overpriced and i've been really trying to use up some of the stuff that i do have but i needed some paper these papers for a project that i'm fixing to start um our best friends have a little tiny baby and I'm sure y'all are probably watching this video. Anyhow, I needed to pick up some paper to do his album with. And so, um, we popped in there. While they were there, they were having a 40% off on the paper studio. And the ribbons. And I, I'm sorry about these dogs. Okay, maybe he's done. Uh, they were having... Um, a 40% off of the paper studio and the ribbon. And then I wanted to look at some of their Tim Holtz stuff. So I found some really cool stuff. Let's get into it. Okay. Let's start with the paper. So, um, I'm making a Lord of the Rings slash Hobbit kind of themed album, uh, like a first year album for Thorin. Uh, and so I picked up a few pages for the album. So I picked this one up. So cute. This one almost looks like Elvish. Almost, not quite. Um, and I'm thinking about using this to line the, to do the end papers with. This one I couldn't pass up. This one is gorgeous. And that one. So I went in specifically to find like some neutral things because what I'm going to do is use my Cricut and Canva to print out some cards and stuff that have quotes from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit on it. Pick this one. Music paper. This one. I thought this one was really cute. Danielle loved it. I don't know if I'll use it or not, but it's cute. This one. random and I think it'll all eventually look cohesive throughout the album once I get it in so there's those that is what I went in for I also found this let's look at it it's called vintage floral these paper pads were 40% off and so I have a few journals. Oh, this is really stuck. I have a few journals that I um, am wanting to make. And I want to do some purple ones. I don't like that. That's sticky on the side there. Uh, and so I picked this up because it had a lot of purple. I don't have a lot of purple paper. And so I really want it to look cohesive and like match the theme. And so I thought this would work. I'm not really happy with how sticky this tape is on the side of this paper pad. <clears throat> so let's look at these. You get 60 pages, 20 designs, and three of each design. Gosh, that's gorgeous. And it's kind of textured. Yeah, it's like actual cardstock. It's textured cardstock. So three of those. Ooh, that's really pretty. Three. Yellow and purple. Love that. That's really nice. They had several of these vintage style paper pads. I had to talk myself out of buying all of them. That's nice. Ooh, another purple with the yellow. This one. Ooh, that's very pretty. That's nice, too. This purple. This one. This one. 
Ooh, I love that. It's got some music in the background. Almost look like art journal pages. Love it. Ooh, did I hit the camera? Oops, sorry. That's it. So there's the paper. Let's look at the ribbon next. So I bought these three ribbons. Not that I need any more. But this one I bought because I thought it would work really well in the current journals that I'm making. These uh, blue and pink ones. I was thinking I could use it as pockets here on the end papers. Oh, yes, that's going to be perfect. Perfect. It's kind of a cream, large, and it's a little bit stretchy. And I think it will work very well for the blue and the pink journals. Journal. Then I picked this up. It's called Poly Venice Lace in an ivory color. I try not to buy too many white because they end up being too stark. I couldn't not get that one. This one I think is two, yeah, it's two pieces. And it's just got, oh, it's kind of falling apart there, but that's okay. It's got like a double floral. And I want to say, yeah, it's three yards of it. So it looked like two, but there, it's just the way that it's wrapped on there to uh, fit all of it. And then I did get this one in white. It's called Cotton Eyelet Trim. And I just couldn't help myself. It is so stinking cute. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And I think it will make a wonderful tab on the side. And I can coffee dye it. So there's the ribbons. Now let's look at my favorite part of the haul went back to the Tim Holtz section because I wanted to see if they had any new, any of the new items. And the only thing I found were these pocket cards, which I don't think they're new, new. Um, but I just saw Jessica at Paper Terrace haul these, so I thought I'd pick them up and we'll look through those. And then, um, they had this pack of botanicals. And I don't know if I have these or not, but I thought they were just gorgeous. And I, they don't look like the ones that I currently have. So then, so then I went over to, they've rearranged in my Hobby Lobby. Oop. And these used to be right next to these, or the Paper Studio stuff. And so I did finally find them, but they were way away. And I found, they have these, this is a hundred pieces of die cuts. And this is 83 pieces, and I thought we would compare them to see how they are. And I'm going to do that in the very next video. But I am going to open these today, um, these cards, and show you what I got. So I picked these up, these little charms. I thought these would work really great on the journals that I'm going to be making. There's three of them. They were 40% off. This is a bunch of florals with some birds and butterflies. And then this is, I don't even know, like vintage shabby chic type stuff. I don't know. We'll go through these. The next video that will be uploaded after this one will be us going through these. And then these. And then this pack of cards, which I'm going to open these and these, and then we'll compare these in the next video. How about that? So let's do the cards first, because I don't think it'll take us long. packaged well. It 
So they are three sizes. This says 55 pieces, so let's measure. These are like business card size, almost. They are three by two. These, I'm guessing, are gonna be three by four. Yeah, yes. And then these are probably three by five, six, three by six. Okay, so let's do the little ones first. So they're double-sided. It almost looks like they cut up a master board, which I kind of am into. Like a scanned master board. These look a lot like his paper pads that I don't think he makes anymore. And like they just cut them up into cards. And I kind of love that. Oh, I hope you can see. Ignore my inky fingers. Although I'm not sure that's ink. I think that's my purple shampoo, <laughs> to be real honest. Okay, there's those. These will be perfect. Like I have, so there's this little envelope that came with something. And this would get right in there. Yeah. Love that. Okay, kind of getting warm. Let me take my sweater off. Um, these are the three by four cards. Let me stand up so I know I'm in frame. These look like bigger versions of those small ones, like yeah, bigger versions of the small ones. Let's see what's on the back of this one. That is this. These are not as thick as the paper. There's that size. And then these are the big ones. Which again, I do think these are all just bigger sizes. Yeah, so here are the three sizes. It's like this one, they just trimmed off the edge and turned it into two. It's very clever, very smart. Same thing with this one. And I'm pretty sure all of them. Love it. Okay. 
Okay, there's those. Let's look through here. There's a hundred of these in this bag. And I don't know, are they stickers or are they just, they're just die cuts. So we have these. They are pretty sturdy. Some little pink deer. Mushrooms, butterflies. More mushrooms. Sorry about the dogs. Bill, come on, baby. She's itchy this morning. These are like little quilt squares. I never pronounce these right. Are they cloche? 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 I don't know. Ooh, that's cute. Bonnie Faye, that's enough. A little hedgehog. A couple of postage stamps with florals. These are buttons on a heart. Mushrooms on books. Plates. I don't know if this is also a plate, but this is like good quality. No, that's weird to me. I bet that'd make a cute little pocket though. This would also make a cute little tuck spot. Couch and a chair and some deer, a photo frame. I don't know which direction it goes. Another frame, butterflies, a rose on a book page. Those. Mushrooms, a heart of buttons, teacups, more mushrooms, books, more books. a hundred of these for four fifty and then forty percent off of that like yes please it's a big bag and then I'm just gonna show you the back of this one I'll do a separate video on these. So these are $5.99. I wonder if they... Well, they first marked them $6.99. There's two of these on here. Um, so, this is my haul from Hobby Lobby. Stay tuned to see what I do with them. Um... In my next few projects, uh, my next video, I will compare these two packages um, and talk about what I like and don't like about each of them. So thanks for hanging out in the Crafty Nook. I'll see you next time.